Do you want to know how to create this really cool saber effect in DaVinci Resolve for free? You're lying. And be able to just literally copy and paste it into anything on any object that you want. You see this right here? This is amazing. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the saber style effect that's commonly used in After Effects, but we're going to create it in Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. My name's Dan, and you're watching Dan Vinci. Let's jump into it. What are we going to do? Okay, so in the description below is a link to the fusion composition that we're going to be using in this video. So if you can't be bothered or don't want to watch my lovely face. You look awful. Thank you. And that's fine. You can just go in the description and just download it and figure it out for yourself. Okay, so in the link in the description, which isn't spyware, is this. This is the fusion composition that you'll get. So it's literally just the object that you want to add Sabre to, the Sabre effect, a merge node, a background layer, and the media out. That is it. And the Sabre effect is just a grouped comp. It's a grouped node. So if you want to see how I've made it, there it is. But I'll be explaining how to do this in just a moment. So how do we make it? Create a fusion composition in your timeline, jump into fusion and let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to create a background node. So we just drag this down. By default, your background node is here, but you can do control space and search background and then just click add and then voila, you have a background node. Drag the output, which is this little square here, over to the media out, connect it like so. There you go, it'll just go black. That's what we want. If we go to the background now and just make the alpha all the way down to zero, that means we just have a blank canvas to, well, make the saber effect. Now what we want to do is get a text node. By default in the fusion layout that you'll have, the text node is this one right here. So drag that down and it'll create a little text node. Again, if you just click control space, this will bring up the search bar and just search text and you'll be able to add it in that way. The output here, just drag it down to the output of the background node just here and it will create a media, not a media, it will create a merge node. Now this merge node means that anything that's connected to this merge will output in this little canvas basically in simple terms. So if we just type in, I don't know, Sabre like so, and then we just, I don't know, I'm gonna, actually I'll make it capitals, more dramatic. Let's make this nice and big so we can see the effect. And I'm just gonna make some stylistic choices just before we get started with the saber. Fantastic, now what do we do? So what do we do now? If you click control space to bring up your select tool search bar, let's search um, erode. That's the first note that we want to put in. Now you're not going to see much happen here straight away. You'll start seeing this effect come into place quite far into the adding node process. So let's click add. And again, like I said, nothing's really going to happen. So let's search blur now. Blur is now going to be added to our node tree. Just make sure that you have the node selected. And when you click search and then enter, it will just add it into the node tree nice and easy. By all means, if the node has just appeared over here, for example, and it's not in your node tree, don't panic. All you need to do is drag it over and then hold down shift and then just make sure the line goes blue like that and it will just attach in like that. Okay, so what we need to do now is drag down a nice fresh background node from over here on this little bad boy right here. Uh, control space will also, again, you can bring that node up. And then what you want to do is disconnect this. I know it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but we'll get there. Don't worry. And then just drag this in and put the blur output onto the background and then the out background output into the merge node. Now this will bring up the outline of the text or whatever the object is. It doesn't need to be text it can be anything so all you need to do is control space and search displace get displace in there and then we want to put in fast noise which if you've played around with fast noise is fantastic for just sort of like dissolving things and making things look random and it's a cool effect okay i can't find words so what we want to do now is drag the output of this to the displace making sure that it's connected to our node tree between the background and the merge node and just like before nothing's really happened that's fine basically feel free to mess around with the controls entirely within these two nodes you will stumble across something that you really really like that's literally all i do i literally just mess around with them and go I like that, I'll leave it like that. But personally, if I wanted to give you some like advice, I would just mess around with the scale mainly. The scale makes a big difference to how bitty, is that the word? How grainy the effect is. Yes, Daniel, bitty is a word. Now, before we start adding glow to make it just look like a saber, let's make this black mess, which kind of looks like venom into, well, a lightsaber effect. Just click on the background and go into the inspector tab and let's click on here and let's just pick a color. I'm gonna do one of my default blues or something. Just do something like that. So already that looks nice, I think. Now click on the displacement node and click control space and then just search glow. 
or even soft glow actually. There you go, look at that, real fine. I'm already looking quite good. Now a little touch that I like to add sometimes is just another glow effect, but just the standard one. I just find it adds a little bit more pizzazz. Yeah, I give it some pizzazz. And you can just adjust it like so, maybe just bring the glow down a little bit. It just looks a hell of a lot better than before. Because with real lightsabers in Star Wars, the center of the saber is basically white. What are we going to do? So that really sells it, I think, and just makes it look pristine. Now, let's make this saber move. So you may have noticed if you were messing around with controls in the inspector tab, that there is a control here called the C-Freight. Probably haven't pronounced that correctly. Moving on. If you just move this literally to the right, ta-da. And you can just adjust this to how fast you want it. So you can have it absolutely chaotic if you wanted to. Or slow it down if you wanted to. Have it nice smooth, like smooth jazz. You like jazz? But Dan, this does not look like the text. This is the object that we're putting the saber effect on, right? Literally, all you need to do is that. That's it. <laughs> all I'm doing there is clicking the output of the text, dragging it down to merge one, clicking the merge output, and voila. It's there. Now, when you do this, you will notice that the saber effect may or may not, depending on how lucky you are, looks good or not. So this is when I usually just go through into these controls here and just make some minor adjustments to the effect. But that's it, I've literally, all I've done is just adjust the scale of the effect and the offset. What else did I adjust? The scale, yeah, the scale, the offset and refraction strength. That's literally all I adjusted there. Personally, I like it nice and simple. You can do this effect on anything. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. In the lead up to starting this YouTube channel, I did a huge amount of research. Learning how to successfully start my own YouTube channel was something that I really wanted to nail. Well, I stumbled across Skillshare. When I visited the site, I realized it had over 1800 classes specifically to do with exactly what I wanted, which was fantastic. And so when they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago to sponsor today's video, it was almost like the stars had literally aligned. To be clear, they don't just cover launching your social media career. They also cover animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, music, photography. I could be here all day. So you'll be sure to find a specific class that suits your needs. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts. I'd thoroughly recommend looking at the MKBHD class. That one I watched and I learned an awful lot from it. The first 500 people to go into the description and use my link will receive one month's free trial with Skillshare. Let's get back to the video. Let's move on to the second section of this video, how to like maybe apply this with the magic mask. Okay, so we have the picture of the car. First step before jumping into the color tab is to make a copy of this and just drag it on top, holding alt like so. Now we've got a copy. Now, you wanna jump into the color tab on the top clip only, okay? So just, let's jump into the color tab and let's start magic masking out this object. Okay, so once we're in the color tab, make sure you have an empty corrector node at the end of your color grade. If you don't have a color grade, that's fine. You can just add one node by clicking alt S or right clicking and clicking add node corrector and then this node will appear. Just make sure it's connected to this green dot like so and this green dot is connected to that if it's by itself but otherwise because I've got a node tree here it's just going into this one like so. That's, that's all you need to know. First is right click on this area, click add alpha output, then drag this blue square over to the blue dot. This basically allows the alpha information to transfer into the output of the clip on the timeline. Then going over to this area here we're going to click on this icon here. This is your magic mask object like uh, panel, then click better just to make sure the quality is just as good as possible. If you have a slow computer though, you can click faster. Make sure you have the plus droplet tool selected. And then what we're going to do is just do a little scribble on our lovely object. So in this case, it's a nice red car. Hey, nice car. And then you can click this button to just view what it's seeing or what it's selected. There we go. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect for this effect. Although ideally you'd want it to be as good as possible. Just click this little double arrow here. Just click that and it will track the mask. Once you've done this, let's move on to just rendering this in place. Okay, so once we're out of the color tab, back into the edit page, we'll now have, if we just disable the bottom clip by clicking D, a nice cutout of that car. So let's render that in place by right clicking on the clip, clicking render in place, and then let's select GoPro Cineform, click render, and let's find a place to, well, put that file. Okay, so now that that's rendered, let's make a copy of this clip by holding Alt again and then just dragging it up. Now we've got a third copy, let's go into our saber effect from the link in the description, and let's just copy this whole section here. Don't worry, we don't need to copy the media out, we just need to copy this. Control C on your keyboard, and then let's jump into this middle clip here. So let's disable this by clicking D, go into Fusion on the middle clip, and now we've got the car just floating in midair in a void, and let's click Control V. Now in this case, the media in is the car, so we can just, let's say, I can just call this uh, car, just to make things a bit more simple. So first, let's do Hold Shift, 
drag it out so it'll go black, that's fine. Drag the output of this merge node over here, like so, that's completely fine. That's just this text node here, which I've just called thing goes here for obvious reasons. It's so obvious. So all we need to do is disconnect that, drag the output of this to that, drag the output of this to that. You're done, that's it. So if you've seen any clips in this video of me using the Sabre effect that you like, and you want me to show you how to do it, or you see any effects on the tutorials that I make with this Sabre effect, do let me know in the comments below. This channel has grown so, so quickly with so little videos, which is just insane. My name's Dan, and you've watched Dan Vinci. I'll see you in the next one.